Good evening, night staff. Thanks for getting here on time. I won't keep you long. I know we've got a lot on tonight. I'm just going to do a quick refresher on ABS. Now, you, you might be wondering what ABS is. That's nothing to do with your car brakes. It's always be smiling. A, always, B, B, C, smiling. First thing I learned when I entered this industry, hospitality, is always be smiling. I came here from the army. I'm not used to smiling at people. I'm used to firing at them. <laughs> But it's, it's quite tremendous actually, the difference that a smile can make. You smile with someone and they open up with you and they're friendly and you've got them and that's good customer service. Smile and the whole world smiles with you. Frown and it doesn't. And uh, speaking of cheery chappies, Mr Best, would you care to join us? What's going on mate? What are we going to do with you? Because I'm at the end of my tether. So has everyone else. Everyone's noticed. They want you gone, you know. Not me. I put my neck out for you. I put it on the block. I said, don't sack that lad. He's a good lad. He reminds me of me. All he needs is a kick up the ass. I'm an ex squaddy. I will be that kick up your ass. And I'm going to be on your ass. Understand? <laughs> Them up there, they want you gone down the road. I'm not having that. Because I think you can handle it. Tonight, you're going to become my PA. That's private assistant. That means more work, more responsibilities, more prestige. Do you think you can handle it? Are you sure? Because you can go right now if you want. Go back to the job centre. I'm not sure. So are you ready? Yeah. Shit, I'll get off the pot. So What's it going to be? I'm going to shit, Sean. I'm you going shit. shit. You shit. <laughs> I think it's going to be a bad day today, actually, because I had a bag of pickled onion monster munch and there were 13 in the bag. And I'd, I'd already eaten them when I found out. Not at last, but I went and stuck the 13, I thought, shit. Anyway, so I watched this documentary called Donnie Darko. Get this right, Papa Shango was a time traveller too. All the TV people, actually. Lon Chaney was, Gene Wilder, Ed, James Dean. Brett the Hitman Hat. All immortal time travellers. Because they changed to light and they're projected through the ages and still come to see us sometimes. So uh so you see if you die and you turn to light, first you don't actually die. Sean, I've got a break my right to go in now. Huh? My break you said I could go on my break early. I said I'd think about it. If you don't like it, you know what we can do. Like if the television is switched off right, turn to channel 13 and all you see is black. That's why there's no 13 numbered houses. That's where the people who turn to darkness go. I think bad memories turn to darkness. Like the time I weed myself at Lightwater Valley. Well, I guess if you're going to kill yourself, you'll end up in the dark place. What's that? The last moment of sugar is this. So I guess if you're wanting some quiet time, then going to the dark place is probably the better idea. Anyway, we don't see my uncle anymore and he went to this dark place and all he did was throw a party for the kids, dressed up as a clown, <laughs> Mr. Funny Pants. Hello? Oh. There was I thinking I was all alone in the world and there you are, my angel at the table. <laughs> Don't you think loneliness is a terrible thing? It happens. It happens too often, doesn't it? And people, people can be lost and forgotten. You know, I always thought that we were a social species. But, but, the thing is, something has gotten rotten inside, and that's loneliness. It's, it's the 
i um, noget Snapchat, så for fanden. Ja, ja, ja. I think that we are torn from the same cloth. We we are two lost souls in the mires of misery. It's in the eyes. Don't say anything. Lord God is looking upon you now. Anyway, do you think I'm theatrical? I, I don't think you're theatrical, but I, I want to be an actor. An actor? Mm -hmm. Actor? I put my heart and soul into acting. When I weep, when I cry, I give Everything, my dear boy, everything. Right. Oh, damn. Cubby, it's happened again, and I'm doing it. I'm, I'm getting taken in all by it, and I, I don't know what to do. Let's, anyway, okay. Are you ready? Let's do, let's do it then. Do you want to do it? To do? Do it. Uh, act, dear boy, act. act. You, you want me to act now? Yes. Okay, shall, shall I? So when I say action, you have to move, dear boy. You've got a bit of dust there. Okay, right, action, we need to be over there. Right. Okay, so when I say action, you have to move. Okay. Action. No. Action. What was it? Just, 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 okay, cut. Cut. Just, just be yourself. Okay, shall we go again? Are you ready? Just relax, relax. Find it in in your inner soul. Okay. So when I say action, I want you to be that inner soul. Find that inner soul. That's acting, darling. Okay. Okay. Action. Oh, that was great. That was fantastic. Oh, uh, just one more thing. Um, And the funny thing is, there aren't any number 13s. He goes 11, 15, 17, and no 13. So maybe it's a, uh, yeah, probably might be true. But anyway, what do you think about this whole Brexit thing? I'm not sure myself, because this time in primary school, we went to Europe and there were, there were women in men's toilets and I accidentally saw someone's Hairy Mary. So I think you're right to leave, because if we do leave, we don't have that here. And at the same time, I do like croissants. Not saying anything against them, so I don't know. Have you got any tea bags? Because I've got these sugar sachets from the bus station in my pocket, and they're free, but you have to pay for hot water even though it rains. Oh, Mr. Best, come for these, have you? Nope, just knocked off a guy in room 208, and he's dead. What? Yep, he came and then he went through his beans and left the scenes, and so am I. So, doodles. I hope I turn to light anyway so I don't have to meet that memory or the laughing people again. Anyway, 13's a number.